Hi guys, it's Thomas here from cotbase.com. Welcome to your weekly COT review. Today we're going to be analyzing the 40th Commitments of Traders report of 2022. And as we always do, we shall start off by looking at the largest changes in commercials positions. For those who are new to COT analysis here at cotbase.com, you can find a lot of educational material, not only in written format, but we have some very, very useful videos as well that will guide you through the analysis process, explaining to you the tools that are available to analyze this wonderful data, giving you a fundamental um, aspect and perspective of markets, but it's coded into a technical uh, format. Uh, I believe it's a wonderful tool uh, to, to look at. Uh, today we're going to be analyzing the reports on uh, the classic. As always, we have a lot of different report types. Uh, we shall focus on futures only this time, but you can add the futures and options uh, uh, data type. Uh, there's a lot of data sets to analyze here at cotbase.com. Of course, we're not showing you all the different market categories, so this is just a brief review. But if you're interested in a uh, classic COT analysis, um, then cotbase.com is your place to be. I will be showing our wonderful ICOT intraday indicator on a market. It's going to be live cattle um, just to show you what it's capable of. Uh, so let's get started in an open live cattle where we have a 28% change in commercials net position based on a 52 week look back period. Commercials, of course, represented with the red line over here. Large speculators are uh, in green and small speculators who CFTC calls non-reportables is represented with this blue line on a separate scale chart. So the change is over here. You can see at the end, uh, the magnitude is definitely much greater than average. It is a bullish COT chain signal suggesting strengthening in the market. You can see that the last time we had a bullish chain signal kind of halting this decline. So it is suggesting um, space and, and you know strength in the market. If we move on to the five years chart and take this horizontal line, put it on the net positions where commercials are standing, you can see roughly where they are. A bit towards bullish side, but nothing uh, bullish, I would say. Not It's not a bullish extreme. Uh, you can see the most bullish extreme from 2018, just at that bottom over there. We had a bearish extreme at this relative top over here. Um, and we are more or less in between those two. So it's really the COT chain signal this week that is interesting. The dollar index is our next market. Here we have a 26% change in commercials net positions, but it is pointing downwards. It is a bearish change signal suggesting we could see some weakness in the next couple of days. Um, of course, in an uptrend, uh, you should be getting more bearish change signals. So, you know, you got to be careful about that. I'm more excited about COT extreme analysis, to be very honest with you. But as you may see in the dollar index, we had this bearish extreme since last year, October of last year. So for one year and nothing really changed. So that's just, you know, something to be cautious about. I do would I would like to point out that if you're not just trading the dollar index, but you're actually trading the dollar against another currency, so you're forex trading, you may want to analyze the other part of the equation. So if it was the euro dollar, you might want to uh, analyze the euro COT report as well. The next market will be lean hogs. Here we have a 24% change in commercials net positions, changing to the one year chart. There you go. It is definitely greater than average, possibly top five and coming after a decline in the market. So I, I consider these to be actually pretty good when there's a decline and we have a signal in the opposite direction. Uh, it may give us a short term opportunity. Uh, five years chart. There we go again, more or less in between the two extremes. Nothing exciting. So let's move over and have a look at the intraday uh, indicator. So it is, of course, as you can see, similar uh, to classic COT analysis. These charts do look alike. Uh, but they are uh, actually not data from CFTC, but we constructed them in a manner to mimic, uh, you know, the the way we analyze the, the 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 markets with classic COT analysis. So it's kind of a stress measuring tool, and you can see this is a four-hour candlestick chart, and what a beautiful two uh, bullish stripe signals at the bottom over here in live cattle. So you can see. Uh, over here, if we switch to the one year chart, we, we have this bottom and we are actually getting these bullish um, 
uh, stripe signals uh, at the bottom. Stripe signals are the ones uh, that are uh, showing you a combination of stress and uh, increased stress level in commercials and speculators as well. Just for those who are joining in, we do have a lot of material here on cotbase.com under indicators, pro representing everything in classic COT analysis. That's uh, something that um, uh, we do over there. And in the ICOT section, we are actually going into the intraday uh, time frame and you can see a bunch of example charts. This is gold on a one minute candlestick chart. And of course we do explain what these different signals are and there are some very good videos as well. But back to live cattle because it's quite an interesting market. I, uh, I don't think uh, too many of you are trading it, uh, but you know, the indicator works well on this one as well. So changes in uh, candlestick color is representing extreme in uh, speculators. Uh, and then the yellow uh, markers here are actually representing uh, extremes and commercial positions. So you can see uh, how it works. We do get um, uh, signals against the trend. That's you know quite, quite common. So I would be switching to a one hour candlestick chart. And as you can see, uh, we do get these uh, bullish stripes on the one hour as well. And what I like as the trend is uh, developing, we are getting signals uh, in the direction of the trend. I think these are the most uh, exciting signals um, on the way. Of course, if you are somebody trading, you know, more dynamically, you may be, you know, catching these uh, bearish signals as well. It's up to you. And of course, it's up to you to, um, you know, uh, analyze the market and, and see what are the best settings for the indicator. Uh, here we have live cattle on a 50 minute candlestick chart. Uh, some very nice examples of, of, of tops and bottoms caught by the signal. Uh, you can go to a five minute candlestick chart and you know you can go any 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 I wouldn't you know I wouldn't recommend uh, a one minute or you know 15 30 second candlestick chart on, on, on such a market. I mean it does not have that volume um, and liquidity but you know it's up to you. Uh, you can definitely see that there are some nice signals even on a very short time frame as well so i do appreciate you being with me uh i hope i could you know give you something interesting and exciting to think about uh cotbase.com is a service that uh, focuses on the uh, uh cot report uh throughout the years we've been always um looking forward to getting an indicator that can bring this knowledge and and and, and perspective into the intraday time. So we are very excited about the ICOT intraday indicator. Uh, and I think the two are, are very, very uh, great tools to, to work together to really catch that larger term perspective and, 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 and view and direction in markets with the, with the classic COT analysis offered uh, through the premium service, the website or the pro, the indicator on NinjaTrader, of course, including everything in premium. Or, you know, you can move on and say, hey, we have a, 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 a chance of a trend reversal in a specific market. You base that on classic COT analysis, but then you actually move on. And, 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 and with the help of the ICOT intraday indicator, you can actually find trading opportunities in the shorter time frame. So um, that's what we do. Uh, if you have any questions, of course, feel free to comment underneath the video or the faster way to get in contact with us is sending an email to info at cotbase.com. And we are here to help and assist you. So feel free to ask us any questions. Thank you very much for your attention. I hope you guys will have a wonderful weekend and I wish to see you guys in my next COT review. And if you haven't subscribed, please do uh, hit the bell icon and, and like. Uh, it does mean a lot to our channel. So all the best to you guys. Take care. Goodbye.